China's rocking the military scene with some seriously powerful gear like a superhero on the world stage. Imagine sleek fighter jets tearing through the skies and super strong ships ruling the waves. It's like an action-packed movie. And here's the kicker. China isn't holding back. They're unleashing high-tech weapons, including laser beams that sound like something out of a sci-fi flick. It's not just a show, it's a blockbuster with explosions and futuristic gadgets. But hold on to your seat because China's about to drop some new weapons that could flip the script entirely. It's like waiting for the next big surprise in a nail-biting thriller. Everyone's wondering what's going to happen next. All eyes are on China, waiting to see if they'll be the new game changer in the Superhero League of Nations. Join us if you are really interesting in the Chinese laser weapons and interests of other countries. In a recent military engagement, China's formidable laser weapon, the Silent Hunter, demonstrated its might by successfully intercepting and shooting down a remarkable 13 Houthi suicide drones in Yemen. This achievement has raised questions about the strength of China's laser weaponry on the global stage, prompting the United States to feel the pressure to maintain its leadership position. As countries around the world enhance their military capabilities, laser weapons have become a focal point alongside advancements in hypersonic and space technologies. The Silent Hunter laser weapon, purchased by Saudi Arabia from China, proved its effectiveness in actual combat, turning the tide in their favor against Houthi forces. Specifically designed to intercept small, low-altitude flying targets, this laser system showcased its prowess as the first of its kind to actively participate in real-world conflict scenarios. The successful deployment of the Silent Hunter not only underscores the capabilities of China's export-grade weaponry, but also raises intriguing questions about the potential strength of their domestically used laser weapons. While global attention has been largely focused on conflicts such as the one between Russia and Ukraine, significant developments unfolded in the Middle East. Saudi Arabia, having previously endured attacks by Houthi forces, faced a barrage of assaults ranging from artillery shells and rockets to increasingly sophisticated drones. This dynamic situation highlights the evolving nature of modern warfare and emphasizes the critical role played by advanced laser weapons in shaping the outcomes of military engagements. In 2019, Houthi armed drones caused big trouble for Saudi Arabia by attacking a major oil refinery in northern Saudi Arabia, leading to huge economic losses. Saudi Arabia tried using Patriot anti-aircraft missiles from the United States, but these missiles are meant for big and noticeable targets, not small, low-flying drones. It's like trying to use a big gun against tiny mosquitoes, and using many expensive missiles to stop a cheap drone just doesn't make sense. So the problem of defending against drones became a big deal on battlefields worldwide. That's when China's laser weapons stepped in. China's silent hunter surprised everyone by shooting down and destroying 13 drones in action. Saudi Arabia was super happy about this and ended up buying more weapons from China. The silent hunter became the first laser weapon in the world to be used in a real fight, making people wonder how good laser weapons, especially China's own, really are. Back in the 1950s, the United States and the Soviet Union started working on laser weapons. China joined in the 1960s a bit later and initially lagged behind. But guess what? China has made big strides and even outperformed the United States in many aspects of laser weapon development. Some of their laser weapons are already being used in the military. China is rocking the field of laser weapon research and they're way ahead in five core technologies compared to other countries worldwide. Many countries are also trying to develop this futuristic weapon, but right now, only the United States is somewhat close to China's technology. Still, there's a big gap. China is like the leader in this cool laser tech race. China is getting really good at developing laser weapons and the United States is keeping a close eye on it, feeling a bit nervous about how fast China is progressing. Laser weapons are cool because they're powerful and easy to control. They can shoot really far and they charge up quickly. The best part? Laser weapons can 
can be used in space since they don't need gunpowder support. It's like the perfect choice for making space weapons. A few years ago, China showed off the Silent Hunter laser weapon at a defense exhibition in Abu Dhabi, UAE. People noticed it looks a lot like a similar one developed by the United States, both using heavy-duty military truck chassis with laser weapons. But here's the catch. China's Silent Hunter is way more powerful, about three times stronger than the US version. It can handle 10 target laser weapons in just one minute, making China a real leader in this field. They've got every reason to be confident. In 2021, at the 13th Zhuhai Air Show, China's Aerospace Science and Industry Corporation showcased a laser defense system called LW-30. This system includes a radar command and communication vehicle, a laser launch vehicle, and a logistics support vehicle, all mounted on a highly mobile six-wheeled truck chassis. This setup can handle different terrains, is super maneuverable, and can lock onto a target within just six seconds. In an experiment, it even intercepted more than 30 targets, which is a rare feat globally. Additionally, the China Ordnance Industry Group displayed another laser weapon system named O5. Compared to the LWW-30, the O5's launching device is stored in a compartment and can launch various items. It boasts higher system integration and comes with a phase-controlled seismic radar with single-sided vibration, enhancing its ability to detect distant targets. This demonstrates demonstrates that China is at the forefront of the world in developing advanced laser weapon air defense systems. China's got some really cool laser weapons, and one of them, known as Death Ray A, is a bit of a mystery. According to a Canadian magazine called Hanha Defense Weekly in 2017, this laser system isn't just good at taking down drones and missiles, it can also cause serious damage to enemy nuclear submarines. Now, lasers usually travel in straight lines, making it challenging to hit fast-moving submarines hidden underwater. This has been a tricky problem for a long time in the world of lasers. However, after more than two decades of hard work, Chinese scientists found a solution. They use something called Laser Satellite Relay Warfare, or Satellite Reflection Warfare, to make it happen. This means China is doing some pretty smart and innovative things with lasers, especially when it comes to dealing with submarines and other tough targets. According to some sources, China tested a laser weapon that took only 2.5 seconds to find, lock onto, and destroy a simulated enemy nuclear submarine. After 5.2 seconds of continuous laser irradiation, the protective layer of the submarine began to vaporize. This technology breakthrough is unique to China, and even the United States hasn't overcome this challenge yet. However, this achievement is limited to land-based and sea-based applications. If this laser technology is used in air combat, like putting laser weapons on fighter planes, it could have an even more powerful impact. There are hints that China might have made breakthroughs in this area. The J-20, a fifth-generation aircraft doesn't have cannons. Some experts suggest that China might be planning to equip laser weapons instead. If this happens, the J-20's close combat capabilities could see a revolutionary improvement. Additionally, China's latest laser weapons can effectively handle ultra-high-speed reconnaissance planes and disrupt the laser and infrared guidance systems of stealth fighters. All these advancements might be causing some stress for the US military. It's interesting to note that the US military has started trying to paint metal mirrors on small stealth fighters to deal with laser technology. The idea is to use refraction to reduce the damage caused by laser light. However, it's challenging because any dust or dirt could affect the refraction effect. So, countering lasers with refraction might be tricky based on existing technologies. The F-22 fighter has faced issues like paint peeling, and the US military has used metal mirror coating to protect it. However, the reliability of this measure is uncertain. China's laser weapon technology is superior to the US, with dual capabilities for tactical attack and strategic deterrence. The US response, painting metal mirrors on stealth fighters and expressing concerns about China's laser weapons, reveals genuine apprehension. Technological progress is ongoing, and China, already ahead, remains vigilant. The future holds continued advancements in technology and strategies. What are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments section.